Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, looking at Apple on the daily and weekly time frame. Congratulations, bulls. Huge day, huge volume. Second gap up in a row. Big move, big break on the weekly time frame. We'll look at that. On the verge of a bullish MACD cross. A little bit of an upper wick of profit taking, but we held the upper Bollinger Band 111.07 support. That's going to be a key level to update at the open tomorrow. See if the bulls can remain in breakout mode and hold that upper Bollinger Band for continuation. Keep in mind, we are likely to see some profit taking coming up here soon. We have seen a 7 8% move over three days, and the bulls are exhausting themselves to the upside. The weekly time frame, bouncing off the 50-week support, close above the 100-week. If by the end of Friday we close above 109.78, that is a significant development. But what I'm interested in is that 111.11 level. We broke it very convincingly today. Now I just want to see a close above that level by the end of this week, turn it into support, and then we're looking at a potential long-term trend change. Now let's zoom out so we get a very clear glimpse of this trend. Very clear lower high, lower low pattern. Now we have a higher low and higher high short-term pattern. Still not breaking these resistances, but now we have. So we're looking to change things to the upside. And we're looking to start heading up towards our next target here of 121.23. So you can see bounce off the 200 week, rejected from the 100 week, but now getting above that level and we're looking for continuation to the upside. Significant development for the longer term Apple bulls. This is what they've been waiting for and sitting through some very hard times over the past year, but today makes it worthwhile. So let's look at the five minute chart. And we had a clear bullish entry signal this morning. Once we broke 106, make that 108.79. The high of the past couple days, we had resistance at 108.76. Yesterday we topped out at 108.79. So as soon as we broke that level, we knew the bulls were in control. Next daily resistance was up at 109.32. So we knew we had at least 50 cents to the upside before we encountered any resistance. So we had some members getting in bullish on this extremely nice up move. Then we had an ascending wedge bearish reversal pattern. And we had a loss of this 20 period moving average support. And once we lost the exponential moving averages, that was red flag number one because they had held the entire day. So we lost it on this candlestick. We held the 20 period moving average. I was highlighting a bearish play on Apple 113 weekly puts here on this candlestick. Had some members get in. I got in personally and I actually exited right before the dump. That was certainly not ideal, but we had plenty of members still in and it was perfect timing for that dump to take place. The 113 weekly calls made a 95% move in this 15 minute time frame huge gains to be had and then we saw some bounce at the end of the day and we had all kinds of news going back and forth saying sale or pre-orders were normal and then no they're not that's why you block out the news but what does stand out that i want to highlight and this dump certainly exhibited that is on the daily chart we saw that on monday apple stood out as the lead bull and I'm looking at 20 tickers throughout the day. And for Apple to stand out as a lead bull, that's definitely unusual. That has not happened in a long time. So we made note of it. It was peculiar. Then the next day, the news comes out and we have the gap up. And it's, oh, it makes all sense now. The insiders were buying before the news comes out. And now these next two days, yesterday and today, is the herd, regular average Joe investor and trader, buying in to the Apple bullish news and these insiders, the big boys that had the inside information, are selling shares to the herd all today. And that dump was magnified and very quick. And we need to be careful of that happening again because you better believe that those in the know getting in on Monday were selling some shares today. And we'll see if that's going to occur again tomorrow. We'll have the upper Bollinger Band as our guide on the daily. And we know 113.03 is a key resistance level to watch. So very interesting news-driven move here and then a news-driven dump and then a news-driven bounce. But one thing for certain, 111.11 as support on the weekly time frame would be an extremely bullish development. I appreciate you watching. Congrats again to the Bulls. See you tomorrow.